What's good, people? Welcome back to Remnant Prince. So today's episode, we got the viral video, Mike Tyson, and he's hollering at Lil Boosie and a couple other people. And um, they're having a discussion about women. And um, yeah, check it out. Let's get to it. How many times you been married, man? Three times. Three times? Yeah. But that's that. It's my mother's love. That's what you want. That's what we want. Any woman that we associate with because they remind us of our mother, even right. though subconsciously. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. She could be educated, but could have been a slipper. She had the personality of your mother. Something about her. That's the only reason I like you anyway, because I'm attracted to my mother and you had that characteristic. Right. My first love, yeah. I fell in love with her because when I, if I got sick, she used to console me like my mother. She was the only motherfucker could. Listen, to hear me like my mother, mm. and it would I ain't. This ain't no no sex. This was just on some. Listen, you know. listen. I know you said no sex, but know why it didn't work? Because of sex. You know what I mean? We look for our mother and our lover, but our mother could never be our lover because our lover would never love us like our mother. Bars. She's not in her, it's not in no woman to love us like our mother loves us. It's not in her. Don't care how much a slave she, don't care how many people she fuck for you, bringing the money. It's not in her to love you like your mother loves you. Pay attention. Eventually she'll oh, turn her man, back on you. That's crazy. Eventually she'll turn on you, nigga. You treat her like a <laughs> dog, you, you never turn on love her like your mother loves you. That's no. the song. Yeah, listen. <laughs> listen, hey. It ain't in her to love hey. her like your mother loves hey. you. I listen to man, that's some real shit. I listen to my, look. I look at my that's wife. That's why you can't, man. I Nigga, hey, that's no. why she. Could. I look at my wife. They don't it's take my listen. Both my my ex wife. Oh, Mike, I got a hey, Mike, I gotta run, Mike, I gotta tell uh, somebody that. No, you ain't listen. That's why, no. bro. No, I'm gonna tell you. It something. wouldn't in her to love her like my mama love me. Mm-mm, that in her. Yeah, it wouldn't in her. <laughs> It wasn't in her, man. Real talk. Real talk. No why? No why? Because her survival, even though she do, but her sur- she yeah, does everything yeah. she does for you. Yeah. Listen, everything she does for you is for her, her survival. survival. Yep. Everything your mother do for you is for your, your survival. survival. <laughs> <laughs> now, Come listen. on, Mike. That's crazy. Listen, can I tell you something? It's not over, nigga. Right? I just want you to know it's not over. So, guys, there you have it. The legendary Mike Tyson, the legendary Le Boosie, chopping it up, right? This is really good to see, right? I always love seeing black men come together, especially great black men. I think these are the type of conversations we should have started out with earlier in life rather than later in life, but you know, we live and learn. I should really tell you something about intelligence and God. Anyway, I think that The situation is, this is what a lot of people believe about black men, is that we look for a woman that is similar to our mother, or we have it DNA hardwired that we're attracted to our mother, right? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you, I I disagree with that. I think a lot of men, uh, maybe black men, do live this way because I hear them talking about it themselves. But um, I don't see that for, to be honest, I don't really see that in my personal world because all of my friends, you know, especially the ones who are successful, you know, they don't really date women like their mothers, you know? And I mean, me, myself, when I look for a woman, I don't look for a woman like my mother because my mother comes with an older generational, like, or love that I won't be able to find in my generation. And it's like, I don't know about other people, but when I was a kid, it's like I knew that subconsciously that older women or people would always be able to do things a certain way, right? So I would look for a woman that can add to me, not for what she could do to like uh, console me or, or, or in comparison to my mother. I think a man has to be able to console himself rather and then be able to console his wife and his kids. 
or at least console his wife and his wife can now console the kids. So I think that we have really raised the generations of uh, dependent black men, right? Where black men really don't understand what it means to be a black man, let alone be a man. And it's quite confusing in this world where, you know, everyone kind of is telling people who they are and who they're not, right? So um, I just disagree, man. I think that certain men do look for qualities that their mother has, and I think certain men don't. Uh, me, personally, my mother and her qualities that she gave, in my experience, I appreciate them, but my mom is more of a masculine woman. She's more dominant, right? She's very feminine, but she has a dominant streak to her. Now, I'm not attracted to dominant women by far, so I wouldn't feel like, okay, I need to find a dominant woman because my mom's like that. To be real, I'm looking for a woman who's softer, because I've experienced the dominance from my mom. So I, I, I don't know. I think black men, they really look for just uh, simple standard qualities that really we all look for. I think we look for a woman that can tell the truth or a woman who's loving and is more closer to her uh, mother nature rather than uh, independent beast-like nature. So uh, to, to do each is your own, right? Anyway, guys, I could go on forever about this. But um, you tell me what you think. Please give me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking or, you know, how I approach this. Anything you'd like to see. If you like what you see here, please give me a like. Uh, please hit the subscription. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Uh, if you subscribe and if you just put in the comments, I've subscribed, I will make sure I engage you and show you love. So thanks, guys, for another episode of Remnant Prince. Until next time.